Last Wednesday, documentary Prince Philip, The Royal Family Remembers was broadcast on BBC One to commemorate the late Duke of Edinburgh, who died at the age of 99 in April. The programme offered a candid insight into the life and legacy of the royal, through interviews with more than a dozen members of the firm. The Duke's four children were interviewed, as well as a number of his adult grandchildren, including Prince William and Prince Harry, however the Queen did not give an interview for the film. The documentary was billed by the BBC as a unique portrait of the longest-serving consort in royal history, with the hour-long programme having originally been intended to mark Philip's zeroth birthday. Footage was in turn, filmed prior to, and in the wake of the royal's death. Philip died on April 9, two months before his milestone zero birthday, which he said, needed to be alive for, in his last conversation with Charles. Opening the show Charles revealed, first was talking to him the day before he died, we were talking about his birthday coming up. I said, speaks loudly, we're talking about your birthday, because he was getting a bit deaf. And I said, we're talking about your birthday and whether there's going to be a reception. Laughing Charles added, and he said, well I've got to be alive for it, haven't I? I said, I knew you'd say that. Anyway it's a happy m- Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror Royal editor Russell Myers. Mr. Myers regarded the moment as his favorite in the documentary and claimed Philip would have been aware that his family were keen to have celebrated his zeroth birthday milestone. Mr. Myers said, my favorite bit of the documentary was Charles revealing what was possibly the last, if not one of the last, conversations he had with him. He probably did have that thought in his m- From people I've spoken to he wasn't bothered about all the fuss that was being made whether it was within the family or outside the family. But certainly I think he thought that a lot of the family were keen to have celebrated that milestone with him. Ms. Gripper added, you can imagine him being slightly dry and sarcastic and just a bit like, these things are not a given at my time of life, I've got to be alive for it. You can be having this big party with and almost even having a sense that he knew that that might not be the case, because he obviously had been poorly in hospital before. Though Philip died months before, the royal family honoured him on June, on what would have been his birthday. The Queen accepted a newly bred rose from the Royal Horticultural Society named after her husband, which was subsequently planted at the Windsor Castle Gardens in a small ceremony. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge paid tribute to Philip in an Instagram post, in which they said, Today we remember His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh on what would have been his zeroth birthday. Princess Eugenie, who named her son August Philip Hawke Brooksbank as a homage to the Duke earlier this year posted a heartfelt photo of her grandfather on Instagram. She captioned the post, thinking of Grandpa on what would have been his zeroth birthday. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to our normal podcast provider.